Hello everybody, myself Dr. Neetu Modgil. I'm ENT consultant working in Hyderabad, India. Today we will talk about snoring in pediatric kids age group. So in kids, we usually see they used to sleep with us. In Indian setup, we usually have kids sleeping around us or we sleep on the same bed. If it is a Western culture, they do sleep in another room, but we used to go and see them once in a while or we may sleep after they have already slept, have gone to a deep sleep. So uh, there is no dearth of observation. We can definitely observe that our baby is either snoring at night time, making sound, or there is an airway resistance. Like when they breathe, there is a pressure. The pressure is being felt by the parents that the air is going with lot of pressure inside. Or maybe the baby is not making any sound. There is no pressure, but baby cannot sleep straight. Baby has to sleep on the right side or left side or many of the times they sleep on the stomach also, tummy also, prone position we call it. They are all the symptoms of airway blockage at night time due to which lungs is not getting the appropriate amount, a good quality of air inside. So body is making some changes in the sleep position. It's not only about the sleep position. You can observe that your baby is becoming little hyperactive at daytime. Even you are getting complaints from the school that your baby is quite hyperactive. So usually they feel sleepy, but like us, they do not like to lie down or take nap during the daytime. It increases irritability in the brain. So they become irritable. They become attention deficit hyperactive disorder can also happen because of the snoring, because of the airway blockage at nighttime. They have trouble dealing with the negative emotions. They cannot take competitions easily. They definitely have problem when they play with the kids. They usually fight on small issues. They get angry very fast. It can be a nature, but most of the times we have seen that these kids, they usually have snoring or airy blockage at night time. It's not only confined with the behavioral changes. It can lead to cosmetic changes on the face too, due to which excessive, because of the excessive mouth breathing, after few months, or a year, the facial changes start coming. The typical facial changes of the patients with mouth breathing are, I mean pediatric age group are, they usually the faces look dull, they have sunken eyes, they have this chin which is not protruding, it is going back, they have small lips, small tongue, teeth, I mean small nose, the teeth is going one above the other, the difference between the eyes, there is a 1-2 millimeter increased gap between the, these two areas of the eyes. The face looked like as if it has been compressed by something. They look dull, they do not react much to your things. They have increased reaction time, like they take time to give answer. They take time to understand things, but they become angry very fast. They feel insecure. So these are the symptoms. Maybe your baby is breathing from mouth at night time. So we need to find out the cause behind it. Sometimes it is something in the nose, maybe some septal deviation, inferior turbinate hypertrophy. It may be adenoids, it can be tonsils. It may be something more serious. Do not sit at home. Do not say and do not talk to your friends. Okay, your kid is also breathing from mouth. Okay, my kid is also breathing from mouth. With time, they will be fine. With time, you will lose the cosmetic development of the face. With time, you will lose the cognitive, healthy cognitive development, which happens before the age of six to seven years. You have lost that time. Don't lose it. Come to your doctors. There is a definite treatment, medical or surgical, depending from case to case. You need to take actions. And it's only you who can treat your kids. Thank you.